Coach Kurt here from SBC, and today we're going to talk about the row. So we have Coach Kyle here today to help us uh, with the row. Um, and so row is a great, um, you can use it for different er energy systems, but uh, predominantly it's pretty much aerobic. Uh, we also can use it for shorter intervals in, in anaerobic uh, energy systems. But uh, um, So it also, it's, it's great for any pulling exercise when you pull with it um, for your posterior chain and, um, and everything that goes with it. So. Kyle, why don't you go ahead and sit down. <clears throat> Coming into the to the rowers, we just sit on the uh, uh, with the seat. Uh, put your feet. There's adjustments here on different uh, uh, levels. You pretty much want the uh, the ball of your foot to be right on. There's uh, there's a strap. Um, you want to be right on top of that so you get a good push off of the uh, the row. So go ahead and uh, strap your feet in. So there's also numbers on the side here. These are just how like the the tension level. So the higher it is, the harder it's going to pull it. Um, so what we do when we row is we're going to grab onto the, uh, the bar there. And when we row, we're going to press our knees back as we pull to our chest. Good. And on the way back, we're going to extend our arms all the way to the past our knees, and we break our knees back down and pull again. Good. The biggest mistakes we see with the row is we see, all this, see your heels come off when you pull after. So we see like this, watch, see how Kyle's heels come off the ground. So what happens is, just like if we did the deadlift, right? We wouldn't deadlift with our toes up. We would deadlift our heels down because we really want to drive through our heels on the rower. Uh, another thing we see is uh, go ahead and break your, your arms on the way back when you break your arms too early. A lot of times you see that too is going over top the knees when we row. I'll show a couple more of those. So you see how his, his knees are already coming back before his hands are getting there. He has to go up and around. We want to keep this, this uh, the chain in a straight line the whole time as we're pulling. So we want to make sure we push those knees back, we pull, extend arms, knees come back. We don't want to have this chain go up and down a lot. And the last thing we kind of see a lot of problems too is, is the pulls. A lot of times either people pull right to their hips or they stop, they don't get that, that extension of their back. And so what happens is they get these short pulls and uh, we lose a lot of distance a lot of time. So I want you to go ahead and show a couple like, just like short like pulls. There you go. See how there's no real extension going on. We want to make sure we pull straight to our chest and uh, sit back at a good angle. So let's show a couple good ones now. Good. Good. And that's the row. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, and also check us out at svccrossway.com.